the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team for 2013. It's the Red Arrows. Red 1 has called the team into short diamond formation as you see Reds 8 and 9 tuck in to form the famous Diamond 9 trademark Red Arrow shape. Red 1 is squadron leader Jim Turner and it's his second year leading the team. He was a wingman with the Red Arrows from 2005 to 2007 and led the synchro pair. Qué maravilla, por Dios. He's a former Jaguar weapons instructor and Jaguar display pilot. And more recently, he was working with the Royal Saudi Air Force's equivalent to the Red Arrows, where he was their official advisor. Smoke's on now, the wings are dropping back to form the shape of Eagle which depicts the planned form of the American fighter jets, the F-15 Eagle. We've introduced this to display as a commemoration to the support our American colleagues showed us during the Battle of Britain on the Eagle Squadrons. And at the right-hand side now, we fly the Eagle Roll. Now boys and girls, as they come canopy on, the pilots can see you waving, so get your arms up, lots and lots of waving. We fly the majority of our formations with the odd-numbered pilots on the left-hand side and the even-numbered pilots on the right. Red 6 and 7, the synchro pair, tend to sit in line of stern. Those brave men of 617 Squadron flew their 19 Lancaster bombers deep into enemy territory to carry out the raid. The 617 Squadron still operate today, flying the Tornado GR4 from RAF Lossiemouth. The smoke goes off now. In commemoration of the 70th anniversary of the Dambusters, this is Lancaster. pilots has completed a tour with the famous Dambusters squadron. Red 3 Flight Lieutenant Mark Lawson is on the leader's left wing now. Mark flew his first tour in the Royal Air Force on 617 squadron flying the Tornado GR4 over Iraq and Afghanistan before transferring to 9 squadron where he also flew again over Afghanistan but also over Libya in support of Operation Elemy. The smoke's back on now as the team form our tightest shape which is Apollo the jets here are about five to six feet apart as they fly the Apollo roll. Leader's right wing now is another of our first year pilots, that's Red 2, Flight Lieutenant Ollie Parr. Ollie is another former Tornado GR4 pilot and he has completed a tour as a Hawk flying instructor at Royal Air Force Valley. Smoke comes back on now as the team form the shape Typhoon aimed to depict the Delta Wing platform of the Royal Air Force's multi-role combat aircraft, the Eurofighter Typhoon. We now have four frontline squadrons of Typhoons, whose duty it is to protect the airspace of the UK and the Falkland Islands on quick reaction alert. And from the left now, they pull up for the Typhoon Loop. One of our pilots is a former Typhoon pilot. Red 9 is moving across to the far side of the formation now. And he is Flight Lieutenant Mike Charles, who's in his second year with the team. He's a former Hawk flying instructor and solo Hawk display pilot and flew operationally on three squadron flying the Typhoon. The jets have slowed down to about 150 miles an hour now as they now accelerate to the bottom of this loop in a shape called Signet.
in the middle of the left hand wing as we look tail on is the last of our first year pilots The Synchro Pilots stay with us with their smoke on now and they turn away from us at 6G or 6 times the force of gravity where everything in their bodies weighs 6 times more than normal. Pointing back towards us, they fly the Cyclone. Synchro pair slingshot out to the front. Look to your left for Enid. The wings drop down to form an inverted V shape. And now look right for a lone jet who is Red Nine. And get your cameras ready as he flies in between Enid for the goose. seen a panel hang down from the back of Enid's jets there. Well that's the air brake and it's used to create drag to slow the aircraft down. Secondary effect of using the air brake is the need to maintain a higher power setting to maintain speed and in turn that gives us a deeper smoke colour as you can see in the red and blue as Enid climbs steeply to our right. Now look directly to the front as the synchro pair pull up in line astern at 5G. The smoke comes on as the jets reach a height of around 8,000 feet to draw Synchro's heart. Well, the Red Arrows would like to dedicate this heart to a girl who has her 12th birthday today. Becky Kerwin, this is for you. And we hope you have a very <laughs> Thank happy you. birthday. Top left of the heart is Red 8, the team's Cupid, who is drawing a spear. Red 8 is Flight Lieutenant Ben Plank, and it's his fourth year with the team. He's another former Hawk flying instructor and Harrier GR9 pilot. Looking left and right again for the Synchro pair, who descend back down to 100 feet to fly the double rolls. degrees now you can see Enid have been joined by Reds 8 and 9. Pulling up at 4G in Vixen formation. They twist this loop through 90 degrees in a maneuver known as a quarter clover. Look again to your right, 45 degrees for Enid. Back in leaders benefit formation, they fly towards us to leave a snake-like trail of smoke in the sky as they fly the Python. Well, the Red Arrows have now flown nearly 4,500 public displays 
in 54 countries and this year it's the Red Arrows 49th display season. It's estimated that over 2 million people get to see a Red Arrows display every year and last year for our fly past over the London Olympic opening ceremony the global audience was in excess of 1.4 billion people. Out to the left now, Jippo and one of my favourite manoeuvres. Red 6 and 7 fly in it upside down in line astern formation as Reds 8 and 9 roll around them in the corkscrew. Red 7 working very hard there to fly in close formation, only 8 feet from Red 6's jet, but doing it while upside down. Out to the left now, you see the five headlights of Enid. The inside pilots perform tight matched rolls to the outside of the formation in the rollbacks. As Enid finish their dynamic rollbacks, look to the front for Jippo and the return of a crowd favourite manoeuvre and get the cameras ready. Reds 8 and 9 roll around Red 6 and 7 who complete their own rolls in their Jippo break. Smoking on the left is Red 7 and Synchro 2, Flight Lieutenant James McMillan. Muxi is in his second year with the team and grew up in New Zealand where he joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force. After they disbanded their fast jet fleet, he transferred to the Royal Air Force in 2002 and became a Hawk flying instructor and eventually transferred to fly operationally in the Harrier GR9. Watching now as the Synchro pair descend down for their final manoeuvre of the display and the opposition barrel roll. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the fabulous Synchro pair. And now look directly to the front for Enid and Red's 8 and 9 for the display's finale. This is the Vixen Break. We are the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows. So you see Red's one puts his smoke on to rejoin all nine aircraft together as they get ready to transit back to RAF Shawbury. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed watching the display today. The Red Arrows are a major link between the British people and the Royal Air Force and the wider British military. The public support for the team is very much appreciated and the comments we receive on our team Facebook and Twitter pages truly reflect how fond much of Britain's population is for the team. All members of the British military who are currently on duty both at home and overseas. So ladies and gentlemen, cameras ready for the last time here this year at RAF Cosford. The Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows. Well, ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, the motto on the squadron's crest is Eclat, which means excellence. We strive for exactly that in everything we do, and I hope you feel we have achieved it today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and for listening. I hope you can see one of our displays later in the year. For those who are interested, the pilots will be arriving here at Cosford at around 4 o'clock. And if you'd like to have a signed brochure from them, please visit the Red Arrows tent in the RAF village. Well, that leads me to say thank you very much again, and I wish you all the very best on behalf of the Royal Air Force and everyone at the Red Arrows.